So there's no, another question on crashing. This is uh, problem tw 25 in chapter 2, one of your homework. Uh, it says you are the project manager of a software installation project in table 2.15, which I'll show you here shortly. You, you would like to find the minimum cost schedule for your project. There is a $1,000 per week penalty for each week and the project, the project is delayed beyond week 25. In addition, your project team determined that the indirect costs are $2,500 per week. What would be your target completion week? And it's basically you, that indicates to you that you have to crash um, again. You, and then it says how much would you save in the total project cost? So your total costs are 1,000 plus 2,500, right? It's uh, 3,500. So go on to the next page. You can see this is the AON diagram, and I'm not going to show you how it's constructed because. Uh, we're already far in the game. You should already know how to do this AON diagram. But um, what you see is uh, in the they give you these activity, normal time, normal cost, crash time, and crash cost here in the table. And this here, these, this is what you have to figure out yourself. Your maximum reduction, which is easy to, to your maximum reduction is your normal time minus your crash time. So here it's two. Here it's none because it's the same for G. Then your, your uh, dollars per week, your crash crash cost per week. You need to use this equation here: the crash cost minus normal cost over the normal time minus crash time, and this is what you'll get here. And you need this is very important. You need these because just based on this here, I and D right away I can eliminate for even considering the crash because it it exceeds the the amount we were given of thirty five hundred dollars per week. So again, like uh. First thing we do is construct a, a table with uh, the crash, with the total time, but co project completion time across each path, it's available path, and we determine which one is the critical path. So we're going to construct a table. We're going to construct a table here with each path. With original, we're starting path length. So I'm going to go to each path. So first one is A C. So I'm going to go down each path. I'm going to write each one. ACI. ACI is 24. 5 plus 10 plus 9 is 24. Path A. I'm going to go to path um, ADFI, which is 9 plus 18 plus 27. So I'm going to do these for all the paths. So I'm going to write them down now to save some time. I'm going to fill them in. Read quickly. So here's a table here that I've got constructed. So these here, these paths are based on here, on what I, on this AON diagram. So it's important that you have these activity times in this diagram. So I'm going to put this over here like this. Just so for iteration one. So as you can tell, based on this here, the, the cost to crash. I mean, the, I'm sorry, the critical path is BD. FGH. So based on this diagram, you got BD FGH in the critical path. So you got to find the one of uh, one of these nodes. Which one is the lowest to crash? Which one costs less to crash per week? And so B is three thousand, D is four thousand, F is two thousand per week, G is none, and H is one thousand dollars per week. So you, you're going to crash A, H. And it says you can crash it for three weeks. But be very careful here. Look at I'm on step one in the table. If I crash H for three weeks, this will become 28. Which is not correct because, again, you're constrained by this path, BDFI. So you can only crash H for one week. Again, you can only crash A for one week because although you, it says you can crash it for three weeks, you're constrained by path BDFI and you can only crash it by one week so obviously BDFI stays at 30 after you crash H for one week there's no H in this path there's no H in this path there's an H in this path there's an H in this path so now you have two critical paths you get BDFI and B BDFGH so now we gotta look and see okay we're done with H so I'm just going to cross it out or do whatever just to mark it that you've already done it. So I'm going to color it in 
purple or something. So H is done. So next we got to look and see what's next in path. Uh, we have to crash two activities simultaneously in path BDFI and BDFGH. And the first thing you do is you see what what are the, can you crash something that's common in both a common node a common activity. So you can crash B, D, or F because they're common in both of them. So let's look and see which one costs the less. So B is cost three thousand dollars per week. D is four thousand dollars per week. You can actually eliminate D because it's four thousand dollars per week. Again, it exceeds the thirty-five hundred we've talked about earlier. And you can also eliminate I if it ever comes into play. So it's B is three thousand. D you eliminated, and F is two thousand. So the next one you want to crash is F. And it says three weeks. I'm going to put it here. Um, step one. I'm going to put um, crash H. I'm going to put crash. See if it doesn't mess up my table. H. I'm going to yeah put a little more information. So now for step two, you're going to crash F for three weeks. So if you look at here, if you crash. Oops, I'm sorry. Something happened here. Let me put this back. Look at here, you crash F for three weeks. If you crash these two for, for three weeks, does it affect any other path, right? And are you constrained? So you see here that you can crash it for three weeks because it doesn't constrain. And even when you crash this by three weeks, you're also crashing this one by one week. I mean, by three weeks. For example, this becomes 24, this becomes 27, this becomes 27. This becomes 24. This stays at 24. So I was looking at where where I saw F in these paths. Wherever I saw F, I reduced it by three weeks. There's no F here. So um, for example, if this had a this one path here had no F, it would have constrained you by basically to crash it by three weeks. So I hope this makes sense. So. So you crash F for three weeks and you're still okay. You still have the same critical path, BDFI and BDFGH. So I'm going to cross F out here. The next one, we, we can uh, we already crashed F. D is not available. H is already crashed. But we see B is common in both. So let's crash B. B is 3,000, which we're safe because uh, it's under the $3,500 per week. Um, we were given earlier of savings of you know potential savings. So I'm going to create a another column. So the next step is crash B, and it's one week. One week. So we're going to crash B one week. So wherever I see a B, I'm going to reduce by one week. This becomes 26. This becomes 26. This stays at 24, and this goes to 19. So now you so you've already crashed B again. Now now you crash B. So the what's left? The only one left is you can't crash any more here. B D F G H. You see B D F G. You can't crash. It's none. You cannot crash. G and H is done. So the only thing to do is you can crash I here, but you cannot crash it because you have to crash I with another with another activity. For example, if this there was a K, then you would crash I and K together. But see, since since you cannot crash I by itself because there's another critical path, which is BDFGH, then you're complete here. That's it. So your your answer for number one is 26 weeks. Part A, it's 26 weeks. Here's your answer right here. 26 weeks is your is the what would your target completion be? Week B, it's 26 weeks. For Part B, you you got to look at the cost crashing. How many weeks you crash? So you crash a total of H for one week, which is a, at a cost of $1,000 plus. So I want to do the um, crashing cost. There's also a different way of doing it, obviously. But so H for one week at a cost of $1,000. Then I look here, crash F for three weeks. F 
three weeks at a cost of two two thousand. I mean, I'm sorry, f at a cost of two thousand dollars per week, and there's three weeks, so it's plus three times two thousand. And also, we crash b for one week at a cost of three thousand. Gives you a total cost of what is it, seven thousand dollars. <throat> so your savings are if you look back here, and it said here beyond that there is a one thousand dollar penalty beyond week twenty five, and obviously here we'd never <laughs> if we would have gone if we would have crashed to twenty four weeks. Um, if we, you know, we right now we're at 26 weeks. We're at 25 weeks. We're still, you know, at, 20, at beyond 25. It, so at 25 weeks and below, it's only $2,500 per week of of uh, savings. But above 25 weeks, it'll be 3,500. You see this? There is a $1,000 per week penalty for each week the project is delayed beyond 25 weeks. So 24 weeks, 23 weeks. If you crashed it to 22 weeks, you're, you would only be saving $2,500 per week, and you'll basically it changes the problem. But anyways, here here is it. So your your these are the penalties. This this cost from penalties you save is about $3,500 per week. So what you do here is your your savings are $3,500 times how many weeks did you crash? Crash H for one week, F for three weeks, and B for one week. So you crash for five weeks. You subtract that from seven seven thousand. You reduce the font here. Actually, made a mistake of here at this crashing cost. It's one thousand plus six thousand is seven thousand. So this should be ten thousand here. Okay, just just note that. So here, the total savings is is basically six seventeen thousand five hundred minus ten thousand. give you 7500 and that was your answer for that problem so if you have any questions just uh, feel free to ask email a question about this video um, again can't em emphasize enough that if you did if you say for example this number here said tw 27 weeks beyond so that if there was a there was a $1,000 penalty for each week that a project delayed beyond 20, 27 if I change the problem beyond 27 so if it's less than equal to 27 you'll be only saving $2,500 per week so then it changes completely what you do here so if it's greater than $2,500 per week the, 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 crash to, the cost to crash per week then, then you won't crash an activity so just pay attention to the narrative make sure you understand it and here so here's the answer again and I um, hope this clarifies it and makes it a lot easier for you to understand crashing. Bye. I know your question.